Oh, what? All right, what's up? It's Exo Part Two with Habari Entertainment, and I'm with Blackout, and you are. Not you already know what the fuck going on. Yeah. This is Acast. She doesn't talk. Yeah. Look at her. You you want to talk to her? <laughs> Would you want to talk to her? You look like the play. Yeah, you, you want to talk to that? Absolutely not. I don't even want to talk to her. And I work with her. Yeah? Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so so where you get the inspiration for with uh, with a mask, is it like Dead Mouse? Is it like Scar Lore? Like, well, like where you get the inspiration at? Um, it was more so kind of me integrating with the uh, COVID factor uh, when we started doing shows. Uh, I started doing my first couple of shows when uh, – uh, venue started opening back up from covid yeah uh, so it was kind of a weird thing where i didn't know if i should wear a mask or not because it was a live show so i just kind of integrated it uh, within my style uh, it's also kind of like a statement uh, basically saying you know nobody really needs to know who i am you don't need to know what i look like you know you just need to listen to the music and it'll speak for itself okay cool and how, how'd you two meet each other um we met, uh, I believe she added me on Snapchat. We we knew people who knew other people who knew other people. And we were pretty much just mutual. It was a mutual friends kind of thing. Um, and she had reached out to me because she had heard my music. Um, and pretty much, um, it's a little bit blurry. I don't really necessarily remember because uh, everything's been so crazy. Um, but I do remember that I did ask her that I wanted her to work with me. And she just kind of started working with me and making album covers and uh and it just kind of went from there so you also work with uh bankai boys too right absolutely yes so how'd that come about um so my cousin i don't really talk to him anymore for uh personal reasons um but he had reached out to me sometime maybe january of 2021 um he reached out to me through facebook and we my family's pretty broken so uh, I hadn't talked to him in, you know, probably eight years, maybe 12 years. I don't even know how long it was. Um, but we hadn't talked in a very long time, so we started uh, to reconnect, and I found out he made music, um, and he knew uh, School Kid, who was pretty much the leader of Bankai Boys. He knew School Kid and uh, Lil Grim Killin', uh, yeah. shouts out. Um, so pretty much um, he was doing a show. It was the uh, Very Lonely Valentine show, and um, – my cousin was supposed to be on the set list. He didn't actually end up coming, but he was supposed to be opening for the show. Um, and he wanted to share a set with me, and he pretty much reached out to Skull Kid and uh, made that happen. So, uh, And then uh, last minute, pretty much my cousin caught COVID, so he wasn't able to come to the show. So I pretty much just opened it for the show. And uh, well, Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, his okay. What was his name? Uh, his name's 10K Cupid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, I haven't talked to him in a long time. Last time I talked to him, he said he was quitting music, so... Uh, but shout out to NK Cupid. I know we aren't on good terms, but shout out, bro. Much love. I th- I think I saw him at the at the Roska show, I believe. Uh, yeah, he was on the Roska show. He opened, I think. Uh, yeah, he had like a ten minute slot, I think. Uh, it was with Baymac and uh, Roska, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he was there for sure. You good friends with Baymac? Uh, that's a tough one. Actually, no. Um, I don't want to say too much. Yeah. But uh, pretty much. Uh, w- I don't necessarily associate with Baymac for specific reasons. Uh, it's not that there's necessarily a beef, but it's just um, I just don't associate with him for many reasons. Um, and I won't speak for anybody else in Bankai, but I'll just speak for myself when I uh, when I talk about that. All right, yeah, I understand that. And uh, what what would you say your worst fear is in your deaf experience? Um, my worst fear, I would have to probably go with like inanimate humanoid objects, like mannequins or yeah. uh, dolls. Uh, I feel like those are just vessels for evil spirits to possess or some shit. So, you know, I don't want to, I just don't like those kinds of things, like porcelain dolls. Um, my ne- my near-death experience, uh, I've had a few of those. Um, I, the one that's most prominent, um, I was skating one day, I was skating past the park, and, uh, Damn. you know, just minding my own business. It was like 10 o'clock at night, and... Um, these dudes were riding by in this like white SUV and I, I didn't know who they were. I don't really talk to anybody, so I don't have beef or anything like that. Uh, and I'm not really into gang shit or anything like that. So, um, but pretty much I got shot at while I was skating. Like they were shooting at me. That's some crazy shit. Yeah. Just like, it was in my neighborhood too, uh, right on 47th and that shit was crazy. I just, and then I remember just picking up my skateboard and just running and I ran home. I was like, fuck this shit. Like I'm staying inside tonight. So, uh, yeah, near death experience. That shit was ass. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Do do you know what her worst fear and nearest death experience were? Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it's about that. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's 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 how she's gonna say it. Okay. Uh, so how how was your childhood and how was your music come up? Um, I don't want to say that my childhood was terrible, um, but it was definitely turbulent. Uh, there was uh, there's there's a lot of trauma involved. Um, but uh, you know, shouts out to my mom and my uh, my my father. Uh, they did a great job, and they did what they could uh, with the resources that they had at the time. Yeah. Um, so pretty much uh, a lot of the time, uh, I felt alone, and I didn't really have anybody to talk to. Um, so pretty much music was my only outlet, and that was my only escape. When I was about four, because my, my older brother pretty much raised me because my mom wasn't always around. So my older brother, he was about seven years older than me, um, and he pretty much raised me since I was a child. But... um. He used to listen to, like, uh, heavy metal, like, Disturbed, uh, Five Finger Death Punch, and that's pretty much what I grew up on, like, Slipknot especially uh, as yeah. my favorite band. Um, and they had this uh, home DVD uh, called Disaster Pieces, and my brother had it, and I remember just watching it with him when I was probably, like, four or five. And I saw that, and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be on stage. And I originally wanted to be in a band for a very long time. Um, funny thing about me is, is I actually didn't really like rap for a very long time. Um, I listened to Eminem, Hobson, and Tech 9 and that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, and that was all I listened to in middle school, but it was probably my seventh grade year, maybe, yeah, my seventh grade year, uh, I had stumbled upon XXX uh, Rest in peace. Rest in peace for sure. And uh, it, was, it was pretty much him and his influence on me uh, to really put myself out there because I was always writing lyrics in middle school and things of that nature. Um, and, you know, I was always just enticed with music and just listening to all kinds of different things. Uh, but I kind of opened myself up to that SoundCloud rap kind of thing going on. And I didn't even know what SoundCloud was until I heard of X. Um, so he became a pretty prominent figure in uh, the influence of my music and uh, just really getting me out there. And I, uh, I started on SoundCloud. So if not yeah. for him, I probably wouldn't have even started putting my music on SoundCloud. Um, and that was probably my freshman year when I started putting music on SoundCloud. Um, so that was like four or five years ago. Uh, so I've been in this for a little bit. But I just hadn't done shows until like 2020. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's just it's just a uh, it's just work in progress, really. Um, you know, I've had my doubts and I've had my rough patches with music, but uh, this is my life and this is everything. And, you know, I, I put I, I put everything aside just so I can pursue music. So my my life is literally riding on this. Yeah. So you know, I am determined to get where I need to be and get where I know I need to be and get to where I want to be and. Uh, you know, my message is to influence it. Well, my, 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 my mission is to influence an entire generation. It's kind of like X's message, essentially. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I just want to I just want to make a generation of, of kids or just people in general who feel alone out in this world, who struggle just mentally every single day, who feel exactly like I do, pissed off or, or just upset about something. Uh, I, I want them to just not feel alone. And I want them to know that there's somebody out there who feels the same exact way and they can just put my music on and buy with it. So would you guys be open to travel to other countries, like obscure countries and help the people out who feel isolated and suicidal? Would you like want to help, help them out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, without a doubt. Uh, I mean, this, this whole thing is, is to, is to, is to help people. This, this is, this is my mission. Uh, my angel numbers, just numbers that I see uh, constantly. And I've seen them ever since I started dropping music on SoundCloud. It's 1017. Yeah. Uh, and you look up the significance of it and it's literally, it's, it's, it, you're on the path to help people. Yeah. So that's what 1017 means to me. So it's a very significant number. It's on the back of my vest. Okay. So, uh, you know, that's just my purpose. That's my life's purpose. And I feel that uh, through those numbers, it was kind of like the universe telling me, all right, this is what you need to do. Uh, and I was able to just kind of choose what I wanted to do. Um, so, yeah. And I just put a lot of energy and a lot of creative fucking uh, creative energy, I guess, into, into everything I do. So then you guys kind of feel like uh, pretty much like rap angels and pretty much. Uh, essentially, I mean, um, my my music is very dark. Yeah. Uh, and everything it, everything surrounding me is very dark. Yeah. My image is very dark. Uh, I have, you know, my tattoos are dark. Uh, I have FTP on my fucking arm. You fuck the population. Like, I just don't yeah. like people, you know, but it's, it, here's the way I look at it. People with closed minds are going to look at me and they're going to look at what I'm saying in my music and they're going to look at yeah. you know, my image and the things that I say in my everyday life. They're going to look at that and they're going to be like, oh, this is a negative person. This is, a, you know, he's a bad influence. He can be a bad influence on kids or whatever. Um, 
you know, so people are gonna closed minded people are gonna are gonna get that are gonna get that uh what's going on? All right, <laughs> uh, closed minded people are gonna get the the preconceived notion that I'm just a bad person or I'm a little shithead or a punk and I'm just trying to corrupt the minds of the of the youth. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's not what it is. You know, I feel like open minded people are gonna really uh, explore you know what's going on with me, and I feel like part of my message too is you know my music's very angry and everything you know on my vest you know it's uh, it's very negative, um, and that's just that's that's the way I see the world essentially, and yeah. you know that's my perception of the world, that's my perception of life. You know, I've gone, I've been through shit, and I still go through shit every single day mentally. Yeah, and I, and I have to live I have to live with a lot of shit, uh, and there's a lot of regrets. So you know. It, I want people to know it's it's not a bad thing to to say something that's on your mind, whether it's negative or not. It's just a thought. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's about your perception, whether it's negative or positive. So you should always speak your mind and just speak about how you're feeling always. And then, you know, that's also part of my message. I just want people to, to understand that it's OK to speak your mind, because uh, a lot of the times when I was grow- when I was growing up and the way yeah. I was brought up, I felt like I wasn't allowed to speak my mind. So what, what's inspired by uh, what you're wearing? Like, like what's all does it say? Um, well, it's just more so just part of my imagery. Uh, I have the fuck the population shit going on. Uh, and then I got the blackout and MBK. MBK, uh, that's one of my favorite songs by me. Uh, you can check it out on SoundCloud, Spotify. It's out on all platforms. Go check that shit out. Um, but MBK, uh, is a really, uh, different sound, uh, like an alternative rock, kind of like, uh, just like straight up, just trippy, drugged out, heroin kind of rock. Yeah. Um, just stoner rock kind of vibes. Um, and it's a really dark song. It's about the Columbine high school shootings. And Damn. there was a point in time in my life where I was surrounded by all this negative energy and I found out about that shit and I was like, whoa, like it was just, it was just really deep and there was something about it that just really drew me to it. And I was just researching it, watching documentaries on it and just, uh, reading about it, books, uh, articles, all that kind of, all that kind of shit. So, um, MBK, Natural Born Killers, that's just kind of a, uh, I don't know, it's just one of my favorite songs and it, 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 it kind of describes, you know, how my mindset is and how Knotts' mindset is. Yeah. Um, and then uh, I have the uh, swastika crossed out, and it says Nazi punks fuck off because I don't like racist fucks. Uh, get the fuck away from me if you're racist. Um, and then I have my uh, my symbol right here. I painted it on here. Yeah. I don't know if anybody can catch it on, but and then the back it has my name. Um, pretty much, uh, I don't know. I just um, there's there was nothing that really inspired me to get the uh, the the vest. I just thought it was a cool thing, and uh, I never really even. Uh, wanted to paint on it or anything like that. I just wanted it to be black, but uh, I decided to paint on it. So, yeah, it's just part of my image. Uh, I just thought it was cool. Um, I I am uh, very interested in, like, war and, like, warfare and all that yeah. shit. Uh, and, like, uh, all that kind of shit. So, like, the tactical vest, it kind of just fits into the kind of shit that I like. So, it's a part of my personality, really. So, you you go the gun ranges then, right? Um, no, I actually don't. Um, not yet, at least. Uh, I've, I'm, I'm pretty young. Uh, I don't yeah. like to. I don't like to drop my age, so no motherfuckers can uh, try to determine my intelligence or my ability or skill, my skill set by my age, because a lot of motherfuckers try to do that. They have a preconceived notion uh, based upon your age. Uh, so I don't like dropping my age, but I'm pretty young, uh, so I haven't really dipped my foot in all that yet. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm planning on, uh, you know, purchasing a gun, and because uh, live in the state of Arizona, and it's getting to the point in time where. Wow, you, West. You, yeah, you need to carry that shit wherever you go. Uh, motherfuckers is ruthless out here. It's crazy. So, would you be a golden stallion, ice cream machine, or a hypercomputer? A golden stallion. And uh, uh, she could just like for for the yeah. question, she could just hold up one, so two, or three. Golden stallion. What was the other one? Hypercomputer. Hypercomputer. Or ice cream machine. Ice cream machine. Oh, N- number two. So hypercomputer. Yeah, you yeah. You know what the fuck going on? That'd be tight. And uh, would you be Casper? Jack Sparrow, Terminator, Robocop. I think I answered this one one time. Um, Robocop. Uh, Jack Sparrow, Terminator, Robocop. It should be Jack Sparrow. Yeah? Honestly, he's pretty, he's kind of a, no, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. How about, uh, would you make a crop circle, do alchemy, or transfer your body to a different uh, animal or person? Wait, so what, what was it again? Uh, make a crop circle, do alchemy, or transfer your body to a different animal or person? Uh, 
I make a crop circle because that's like there forever, and like motherfuckers are gonna look back at that in like a hundred years and be like, or if Earth, if Earth is still alive, yeah, uh, or in, and around, uh, but motherfuckers are gonna look at that and be like, what the fuck? And I probably just put my fucking you know insignia on there. She 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 thinks it's not gonna be around in a hundred years. I can probably agree with that. Yeah, Even so so show. she has the same answer then. Uh, you want to do a crop circle? Uh, no. What what was number two again? Uh, transfer your body to a oh do alchemy. Do alchemy. do alchemy? Hell yeah. yeah. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. And how about, uh, would you be Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, or Lego guy? <sighs> Fucking Lego guy. So, like, motherfuckers can step on me and I just be hurting niggas. What, what, what about you? Number two, it was uh, Spyro. Spyro the Dragon. Yeah. Hey, why? We got Spyro. How about uh, be stuck in a romantic comedy, a horror movie, action movie, or sci-fi movie? Horror movie, and I would probably be uh, the serial yeah. killer involved or whatever. And how about, uh, would you have magical elf, magical reindeer, or magical wand? She wants a magical wand. I'd probably have a magical reindeer because I could just, you know, fucking brand new hip whip just hopped in, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, just hop on my reindeer, pull up. What's your dream music video to make? Music video? Yeah. Oh shit, man. Um, man, that's like a lot of brainstorming and thinking. All right, all right, I'll just try to make it like as general as possible. Like maybe like outside of a lake, and I'm standing on a dock and shit. I don't even know. There's some dark shit going on. It's it's nighttime and yeah, it's the clear sky, full moon, and everything. And then put some gasoline on the lake or some shit. Hell yeah, ignite the fucking fire. Fire on fire on water in the background. Like that's yeah. hard. That's hard. Which that's which hard. artists or horror movie character would you want featured in the video? Ooh. Um, Gotta have that man. You an know. artist. Um, so right now, any anybody, it could be any artist, bro. Uh, Scar Lord. I'd want Scar Lord in that. And yeah. Then, um, either Scar Lord or Lil Darky, uh, because those fucking yeah, he goes hard. Um, and uh, if serial killers, fucking probably Freddy versus Jason theme. I probably probably have that Freddy versus Jason That'd be theme. Tight, man. Maybe throw some Michael Myers action in there. Young yeah. dirty dick on the beat. You know what I'm saying? That'd be sweet. That'd be tight. <laughs> And would you rather own a monster truck, a tank, a flying, or a floating car? I'm going to have to go with tank. What about you? Yeah, pull up. Yeah, that'd be niggas. tight. Yeah, blow shit up. And uh, where would you rather go? Trip the sun, sit in the earth, or Antarctica? Um, pretty much any of those because those keep me away from people. Well, the ignorant fucks. I mean, there's good people yeah. out there, but just the ignorant fucking people. And I see a lot of them every day. Uh, what about you? Is there any specific one? I, I you, you probably fucking die if you go to the sun. So you don't probably don't want to go to the sun or the <laughs> center of the earth. You probably die too. So Antarctica is probably the most realistic one. But I don't like the fucking cold, so I'd rather die than live in the cold. How about would you rather be Tales from the Cre- uh, Crypt character stuck in Twilight Zone or stuck in Goosebumps episode? Uh, Twilight Zone's pretty hard. I fuck with that. Yeah, Twilight Zone. Yeah. And, uh, what, uh, what, what, what what's your dream super group? Living or dead? Like, any rappers or performers? <sighs> um. Alright. Probably, I, I, the way, best way I could describe this is, like, the best, the best song I could probably ever imagine. So, you got, like, Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Yeah. The Great Big Mouth, number eight. Uh, and then you got, uh, XXXTentacion on that shit. Uh, with his uh, underground, you know, fucking pre pre mainstream sound, with his uh, I don't know songs like "Fuck the Population" that he has, yeah, uh, just his really hardcore intense sound, uh, and then maybe even Scar Lord on that, and then um, Phil Anselmo from fucking Pantera for sure, uh, and just have that like a just a fucking collage. I don't even know. I don't even have to be on it. That'd just be a dope ass song in my opinion. Oh hell yeah, I, I think that'd be tight as hell. And would you be friends with Dora, Blues Clues, or Rocco's Modern Life? Dora, she can show me the way. You know what I'm saying? Dora, yeah, she wants to know the way too. Cause I know the no, I don't know the way. We I, we need Dora for that. And how about would you be Felix the Cat, Papa the Sailor Man, or a Betty Boot character? Felix the Cat, low key. Yeah. Yeah, fuck around. And how about what animal would you be? Uh, um, I don't know. Probably a panther. Like a black like a panther tight. or some shit, or like just a lizard, just or a snake, just cl- crawl around. Motherfuckers are scared of me for no reason and shit. Be a snake. Uh, what way animal would she be? Uh, uh, 
snake, a spider. Uh, she would be a butterfly. That's what it looks like. Butterfly, right? Or a moth. It's a moth. It's a moth. Okay. Uh, what what are some artists and people you want to shout out? All right. Uh, first of all, shout out uh fucking Skull Kid from Bonkai Boys. Uh, you can fucking find him on Instagram, and you can find him on uh, pretty much everything. Uh, he, his music's out on all fucking platforms. Same thing with Lil Grim Killing from fucking Bonkai Boys. Shout the fuck out. Uh, Lucid Dreams from Bonkai Boys. Shout out Brian the Low Life. Uh, quick shout out to PTM Bam. Um, went to school with that nigga. That nigga go hard. Uh, shout out Anterno, uh, Don Debo. You already know what the fuck going on. Uh, fucking uh, Unknown Junior. Uh, shout out. And then uh, there's one more I wanted to hit. There's one more. There's one more. There's one more. Shout out A Cash. Shout out Blackout. Uh, fuck. There's Sasuke's Revenge, right? Yeah, Lucid Dreams. Yeah, so yeah. Sasuke's Revenge. That's his Instagram name. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can hit him up. Uh, Sasuke's uh, X Revenge uh, on Instagram, but his uh, his stage name is Lucid Dreams. Yeah. Um, shouts out Lucid Dreams, and uh, I think that might be it. Brian Low Life. Uh, yeah, that's everybody. And would you be Tamagotchi Pet, Neo Pet, Banana Cat, Cat Bug? The fuck is a cat bug? It's like some cartoon that's like a cat and a bug. I'm fucking with that. I'm trying to be a cat bug. What about you? You want to try to be a cat bug? She's trying to be a cat bug. How about uh, Charlie Brown, Barbie, or Lisa Frank character? Fuck. D- oh, shit. Fuck dolls. Um, uh, what were the last two? Uh, Barbie or Lisa Frank character. And the first one's Charlie Brown character. Oh, fucking Charlie Brown. Hell yeah. You already know. Charlie Brown? Yeah, she was a Charlie Brown. She How about Hello name. Kitty, Chili Willie, or Julius the Monkey? Hello, hello, Kitty, Chili Willie, or or who? Yeah, uh, or uh, Julius the monkey. Uh, like King Julius, like fucking. Uh, the, from he's Madagascar. a monkey. He's a cartoon monkey. Oh well, I I don't even know who any of these motherfuckers are. What was the first one again? Hello Kitty. Yeah, Hello Kitty. I'd be Hello Kitty because that's the only one I know. I'm just gonna keep it 100. What would you rather play? Uh, Russian roulette with a full clip, hands, or true for <laughs> dare? <laughs> Russian roulette with a full clip, man. Come on, that was obvious. I mean, sometimes we all want to play Russian roulette with a full clip. Let's be honest. And uh, let's say you die. What would you want made in your honor? A blinged out tomb, a monument, or a pyramid? A pyramid. I and mean, then, you know, mummify my ass and throw me in the pyramid. Yeah. Be a pharaoh. That'd be cool. And you want a monument. All right. Uh, would you be fast food mascot, Gecko Gecko, the Kool Aid Man? Fucking Kool Aid man, I'm busting. I'm already the Kool Aid man. I'm busting on the show. I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm fucking shit yeah. up tonight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kool Aid man with a uh, uh, fast food, food mascot, fast the gecko gecko. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, I, I think right. she, I, it was the one that I said right. Yeah, okay, I already forgot what it was. All right, first. would you be uh, Rugrats, Red and Stimpy, or Pinky in the Brain? Rugrats. Regrets. All right, all right. Um, and where you see your guys self in the next five years? <sighs> Doing worldwide shows, um, playing on not fest shows, and um, just meeting so many different artists and making so much different music, uh, and inspiring an entire generation of people. Uh, and she's on board with that too. I'm pretty sure. Right. And yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what would you rather be, a BDSM slave? Uh, torture chamber, no sound room. Like, it'd be the way you'd be tortured. <laughs> I already look like a fucking BDSM slave with this yeah. git mask I got going on. So, might as well, <laughs> man. Might as well. And her? Oh, uh, you. <laughs> you want to be a BDSM slave? <laughs> hey, uh, what, what uh, was Torture it? chamber, no sound room. Torture chamber, you want to torture motherfuckers? Or no sound room so you don't got to listen to torture the Torture chamber, yeah, all right. Yeah, torture chamber. Post it in the, in, the to- in the trap torture chamber. And uh, what would you guys rather be? E.T., a gremlin, a troll, Spongebob, Scooby-Doo, Cat Dog, or uh, Clifford the Big Red Dog? Ouch. I'm trying to be E.T. Yo niggas with my finger and shit, even though that's kind of weird, but fuck it. Uh-huh. It's Spongebob, E.T., you got Scooby-Doo, you got Clifford the Big Red Dog, Dirty Day on the beat. Clifford? Yeah, she want to be Clifford. All right, all right, cool, cool. Uh, So... Where where can people find you at? Uh, you can find me on fucking Instagram. It's gonna be knots. It's gonna be, but it's gonna be spelled uh 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 K N X T T Z 
Uh, you can also find, follow my second account, and it's just going to be uh, Lil Knots, and it's going to be spelled the same way, but you're just going to add the fucking Lil in the beginning. You can find me on SoundCloud. It's going to be Knots. There's going to be a cross to the O because you're not welcome. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck uh, the population. Yeah, for real. Much love, though. Much love. Go listen to my music. It's Set. on SoundCloud. Uh, all love to my fucking supporters. You can find me on Spotify, YouTube. Uh, Apple Music, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Pandora, everywhere. You can find me everywhere. Uh, you can also uh, reach out to me on the Blackout official page. Uh, and then you can find her uh, at ACAST. I'm pretty certain it's ACAST.TM. You already know what the fuck going on. You can find her. You can hit her up. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Appreciate it. Well, this has been the Exo Part 2 with Habari Entertainment. I, I, with Blackout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You feel, I, feel I, me? You already know what the fuck yeah. going on. Shouts out. Oh my. Woo! I, 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 yeah! <laughs> Woo! They say it never rains in Arizona. Go ask the guy on the corner. The one that need a soap and water. And he responds with it's hotter than a pair of saunas. In Somalia, without the water, use a gonna. Anticipation for precipitation, but never get it. Because the seat is our destination, then I admit it. The sun can shatter your situation, we stay committed. Because these streets is our obligation, we fire.